Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to get some custom songs in Guitar Hero 3 on an RGH, JTAG, or maybe Bad Update. I don't know how to work with Bad Update, so I'm not sure exactly if this is going to work, but I know this works on JTAGs and RGHs. First things first is I'm just going to show you that my customs actually work, just so I have some credibility. But what you're going to need is you're going to need a tool named Onyx, which you can get on google uh, just search onyx gh3 it'll come up with a github might be M it's from m tolly but he might change his name but fact of the matter is you could search onyx music game toolkit and it usually should come up it's for everything but i'm showing off the guitar Hero 3 one you go into releases and then you select which version you need if you're on windows or linux and it gives you an installer and once you get the installer, make a note of where it installs to, or just change the directory. I have it in its own Onyx folder. And then I also made a second folder named Customs, just so I can actually store everything. And, uh, yeah, that's all you really need for the start. But first things first, let me let me show you this shit works, because I forgot, I forgot I was doing that. My Guitar 3 is modded. It is GH3 Deluxe, but Deluxe does not matter. This should still work even on the vanilla version of the game. I just gotta give me a second to load this up real quick and I'll show you. Keep in mind you can only have 40 songs under your downloadables in Guitar Hero 3. So you can only go up to 40 songs and if you have the DLCs and you do this, they might not show in the DLC song list until you add them to the cache later on in the video. I'll show you, but if you're doing customs, you might not want half the stuff that's in this game anyway. Alright. So. Here you can see I got my downloaded songs. Um, real simple stuff. I have a whole loadout of them ready to go, but I'll load up a new one for the tutorial. Let's just play this shit for a second and see if it works. Definitely does, but I need to show off real quick. I'm playing on the controller, let's get it. Yeah. That's the um that's custom, you can see it works. So let's um let me close back to the Xbox home and we'll start working on this. First things first is you're going to need the customs. You can get them on on Chorus or just anywhere you get customs. You can just download what you want. Um, I already have customs that I want to do it with, but this is a good site for si finding songs. You could just search whatever. I'm going to search Eminem. Like, see, you could even have Eminem music and guitar here. This shit's crazy. But anyway... What you're going to do is you're going to go into Onyx, and it's going to open this window. Then you click Load a Song, and I'm just going to grab a song real quick from my clone here directory. I'm going to do Paralyzer by Finger Eleven. This can convert Clone Hero charts and Rock Band charts into Guitar Hero 3. If there's an open note, it's just going to turn that open note into a green which is fine. That's usually what the open notes reference. But once you open the song folder in Onyx, you should see the title, artist, year. That's all the metadata that really pops up in GH3. But once you're here, you're going to go over to the GH3 tab and just click Create Xbox 360 Live File. And I'm going to go back to Onyx and put this into my customs folder. You need to kind of make up a folder to store all this stuff so i just have a folder with all my stuff in it so i'm gonna do paralyzer underscore gh3 live and it's gonna say task building gh3 live file and it's gonna go through converting the audio file and everything over and making it a pack and then you're gonna have to have a way to move this over i'm gonna use neighborhood but whenever you're finished with all this stuff and you have the resulting files, you can put them onto a flash drive and transfer it over if you're using that. 
it's basically going to be the same exact directories if you're doing it on a flash drive. It's just going to look a little different. All right. So it says success created files and it actually shows you. You can click show created file and it will highlight it for you. So we got Paralyzer GH3 Live. And then you can just X out of this. And you can just hit load a song and run through as many songs as you want to convert. But I'm only going to do one because I already have a lot of songs made. But once you do that, you're going to have to go into this other tools tab. And then go into the raw clip or go into the Guitar Hero 3 cache and hit add package. And select the song, the select the customs that you just generated under a load of song. You're going to have to add every song into this cache for it to actually load into the game. So I'm just going to go add package and I'm just going to control click all the songs I want to appear. And then click open. And it will list them all under this packages. You can see Paralyzer is the one I just made. The rest of these are the songs you already saw in the game. But I still have to do it whenever I make my cache. So once you have all that done, you're going to hit create GH3 cache. And then I'm going to just go into this tutorial cache folder and put it down in here. So you just click save. And it's going to do it pretty quick. It's going to say created files. Hit show created files. You can see it's right there. And then put this with the songs on your flash drive or however you're going to do it. I'm going to use Neighborhood, so this is going to be kind of different. But the directories you're going to be doing everything is going to be the same. So I'm just going to go into Neighborhood. But by this point, you're going to move these songs and cache onto your flash drive. Take the flash drive, drop it into your 360, and open either XEX menu or Aurora and start copying these files. Or you could just use Neighborhood. So I'm going to open the JTAG and then go to the hard drive on your console. And you're going to see all your folders. Go into the one that says content. And then in content, look for the folder that's all zeros. Just complete zeros and double click on that or enter it. And then you're going to see all these folders. The one you're going to go into for Guitar Hero 3 is 415-607-F7. So we're going to go into 415-607-F7. And then into the folder that's a ton of zeros and a 2 at the end. This is the folder for your DLC. This is where your customs go. If you also get the DLC from Arby's, you could slap it in here. And your RGH will recognize it. That's what all these weird files are. But for the customs, you're just going to drop them right in here. So my Paralyzer file, I'm just going to drop that on and it's going to move over. On a XEX menu or Aurora, you're going to go in and you're going to copy this file right over as you would any other file on your RGH. Neighborhood is significantly slower, but it's just easier at the moment so that I don't have to do a different screen recording. So I added the song on or songs if you're doing multiple and then you're also gonna have to grab that gh3 custom cache that you made and you're gonna have to drop that in as well if it says this folder already contains whatever would you like to replace just replace it hit yes and just give it a second and it should be done now we're just gonna go back and reload the game and look for the song so I'm just going to run the game through Neighborhood because it's easier to just click through this now that Neighborhood's open. Oh, right there. And we'll look through the downloadable content tab and see if it's there. One thing I noticed that you can't do is you can't make your flash drive a DLC folder. Like you can't do the same thing on the flash drive and be able to select it whenever the game asks for your storage device and have your customs on the flash drive but not on the hard drive the game only checks for dlcs on the console's hard drive so you can't do the flash drive and just remove it whenever you don't want customs which is weird but i think that's a limitation with the game but I'm gonna go down to quick play expert and here it is Paralyzer by Finger11. You know we added the YouTube audio swap music. So let's just go in and show you it works.
fuck. I don't know how to play this on a controller, but you get the point. The song's working. And, uh, you just do that anytime you want to add customs. Keep in mind, with your folder, or with the cache file, you will have to add whatever songs you want into that every time. If you remake the cache and, like, you forget to select, like, Paralyzer, it's gonna vanish from the DLC folder. But it's still going to be on your console. It's just not going to populate in the game. But that's how you add the customs in. Um, like I said, you can get the customs anywhere else. If it's a rock band song or on chorus, it's real easy to find customs. But that's pretty much it.